Hey, that sounds like Bingo the barking dog. Hey, Bingo! There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name O Now this time when we spell Bingo, clap your hands with us. Oh, this is gonna be fun! <laughs> There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name O Hey that was fun Let's do it again what do you think Bingo there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name O Oh that was great clapping thanks Bingo Right Sharp teeth! Jumping in the water, jumping in the water, climbing up a tree, climbing up a tree, rolling down the sand dunes, rolling down the sand, a friend to the animals, a friend to you and me, a crocodile hunter, steamer and crocodile hunter, extra man, crocodile hunter, dirty, right here's a croc. Danger, danger, danger. Well, there's danger everywhere in my job. Fun too. I rescue crocs, feed snakes, dance with bingo, swim with sharks, jump with kangaroos, ride around in my ute, and of course, I'm always wearing my uniform. Crocodile hunter, steamer, and crocodile hunter, crocodile hunter, turkey. Crikey, it's a croc. I'll save it if I can. Check out the size of this pipe. Crocs rule! Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for your master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full.
have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little girl who lives down the lane. Baba White Sheep, have you any wool? Sitting in a tree, sing for us your happy song. All day long, cook, cook, cook a bar, happy as can be. Cook, cook, cook a bar, sitting in a tree. Well, let's shut the car, Greg. Start the car, Greg, let's go! I'm trying to. Ooh, what's wrong? It won't start. Everybody, the big red car won't start. What are we going to do without the big red car? Yeah, how do people get around in the bush without a car? Well, I don't know. Mm. How do people get around in the bush well, everyone, without a car? I mean, you need a car. Hey, Greg, around. wiggle! Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> Camels! Camels! Wobbly camel walking by. Wow, a camel! Padded hoofs and hooded eyes. Look at those eyes. A bendy neck and a long tail. Whoa, what a neck! Let's head out on the desert trail. Take a camel for a ride. In the saddle riding high. Bouncing up and bouncing down. Whoa, this is so bouncy. The camel makes a rumbly sound. Rumbling away From Abu Dhabi to Australia Ooh, In the Dhabi. desert The camel, it won't fail ya They can go without a drink I'm getting thirsty For days and days, what do you think? Days and days Where they live, it's really sunny Oh, it's so hot They never buy, so they smell funny The tail swish the flies away Bouncing up and bouncing down. They're still bouncing. The camel makes a rumbly sound. Oh, what a rumbly sound. From Abu Dhabi to Australia. Abu Dhabi. In the desert, the camel, it won't fail ya. Wobbly camel walking by. Wobble, wobble, wobble. With padded hoofs and hooded eyes. Oh, look at go. A bendy neck and a long tail. What a great tail. Let's head out on the desert trail. Take a camel for a ride In the saddle riding high Bouncing up and bouncing down The camel makes a rumbly sound From Abu Dhabi to Australia In the desert The camel in Bulgaria Itsy bitsy spider Climbed up the water spout Down came the rain And washed for Itsy out Out came the sunshine And dried up all the rain And Itsy Bitsy Spider Climbed up the spout again Everybody, it's a very exciting time. We are feeding, Steve and I are feeding, the beautiful Australian dog, the dingo. Aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful, Steve. Beautiful animals, the dingo, and they're Australia's dog. They've been here for thousands of years. I don't know how long you've got to be here before you're called a native, but they actually um, come from Asia, and they're the Asian wolf. 
beautiful orange coloration and sleek. You can see how sleek their body structure is, Anthony. They can run like the wind, mate. They are so fast. Look at the way their tail curls up, that typical uh, dingo tail, yeah. and they've got white feet. <laughs> and these are the orange colored ones. And Steve, do they, uh, they bark much? No, nah, mate, they don't bark at all. What do they do? They woo! <laughs> Just like that. If an ambulance goes past, they start howling. <laughs> and this is Mia. Oh, We've got is three beautiful. girls. We've got Mia, Kira, and Kuya. Yeah. That's and they've gorgeous. got the greatest sense of hearing. Of course, their speed okay. and agility is, is the amazing thing. You can pick them up, is mate. It all right to pick oh, them up absolutely. Show look, yeah. Look at the dingo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got them as puppies and we raised them in my house just like you would any other dog. And so they're kind of our pets. But you know what? The dingo got a bit of a wild streak. Any little kids run past and they like all get excited. Wow. Any ducks fly in, they try to get them. Lizards, they try to get them. Wow. So, you know, they're not, um, they don't make a good pet. They're okay. virtually a wild, wild animal. Dog. Yeah, but dingoes, we, we love them. Little Dingo, walking in the morning light. Little Dingo, with your furry paws of white. Little Dingo, walking in the desert sun. Little Dingo, your day. Has just begun. The little dingo, dingo is like a dog. Little dingo, but it does dingo. not have a bark. Little dingo, the little dingo, dingo, it goes out hunting. Little dingo, when it's dark, dingo, the time and it's dark. Little dingo, little dingo, little dingo, little dingo, walking in the morning light. Little dingo. Little with your furry paws of white Little Dingo Walking in the desert sun Little Dingo Your day has just begun The little Dingo It likes to howl When the moon is in the sky The little Dingo Ears are pointing dingo, so it can hear dingo, what's passing by. Dingo, little dingo, dingo, little dingo, dingo, little dingo, 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 little dingo. Slow down, what's going on? Oh, Steve, I was just being chased by a really big bird and I had a really long neck yeah. and really long legs yeah. and no wings. No wings? No wings. 
That'll be the Australian emu. They're a flightless bird. They can't fly, but by crikey, can they run oh, yeah, real and it, quick. And it makes a noise too, Steve. It was going <laughs> That's a real legend around our parts. His name is Old Man Emu. Old Man Emu? Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, old Man Emu. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you of an interview with an old man emu He's got a beak and feathers and things but the poor old fella ain't got no wings Aren't you jealous of the wedge-tailed eagle? Um, ba -da 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 -da. Well, the eagle's flying round and round. I keep two feet firmly on the ground. Now, I can't fly but I'm telling you, I can run the pants off a kangaroo. Do, 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 do. He can't fly, but I'm telling you, he can run the pants off a kangaroo. Well, he was the model for the 50 cents. Um, ba da -da, da 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 The designer should have had more sense. Um, ba -da, -da, da 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 If you take a look, it'll prove to you, I can run the pants off a kangaroo. Do, 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 do. Take a look, it'll prove to you, he can run the pants off a kangaroo. Can't loop the loop like a cockatoo. Boom, ba da 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 da. Swoop and toss like an albatross. Boom, ba da 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 da. You silly galah, I'm better by far than a white cockatoo or a budgery gar. They squeak and squawk and try to talk. Why me and them? Like cheese and chalk. Do, 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 do. Well, he can't fly, but I'm telling you, he can run the pants off a kangaroo. Last time I saw old man emu, um ba da 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 He was chasing a female emu, um ba da 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 As he shot past, I heard him say She can't fly, but I'm telling you, she can run the pants off a kangaroo She can't fly, but I'm telling you, she can run the pants off a kangaroo There's a moral to this ditty Um ba da 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 Thrush can sing but he ain't pretty Um ba da 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 Duck can swim but he can't sing Nor can the eagle on the wing You can't fly but I'm telling you He can run the pants off a kangaroo Well I cook a barrel up and he said it's true <laughs> That is a feeding cooker bar. Danny finger, Danny finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Mummy finger, mummy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Finger, sister, finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Whole family, whole family, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? G'day everyone! Have a look at this little beauty. This is a tawny frogmouth. Very common here in Australia, and they hunt their food at night. When they're sleeping during the day, they sit high up in a tree, and you can see the colors of their feathers and their nose. They stick it right up in the air, and they actually camouflage, look just like a tree. They've got a very strong, sharp beak to catch their food, and those really big owl-like eyes. Hey, Steve. Yeah, mate. They just look like an owl. That's right. It's given me an idea for a dance. I'm going to try it out on an audience. Good on you, Jeff. What a little beauty. Is a 
type of bird Round all around the world Put your hands on that big owl pie We're gonna do the Now that's a cute little critter. They come out by the light of the moon. That's when they find their food. So spread your silent wings. We're gonna do the owl. G'day, I'm Steve Irwin. Did you know owls are found all around the world? They can be tiny or huge. They have great big claws to pick up their prey. And mate, can they ever hear things or what? Woo! They live in a cave or tree. They use their great big eyes to see. Flying from tree to tree. We're gonna do the Terry, can you tell us something about the koala? I sure can. Koalas are really interesting animals because they climb trees, eat eucalyptus leaves, and the mother koala has a backwards pouch. So the baby crawls up underneath, and when they get bigger, they ride on their mother's back. Wow. Hey, Terry, those koalas have got the right idea. They just sleep and sleep and sleep. That's right. I think Jeff would like to hang out with the koalas. Sleep so quietly in the eucalyptus tree. She snuggles up so peacefully, as happy as can be. Sleeping till she's hungry, then she eats the tasty leaves. 
Climbing up the tree trunk to find the branch where she can sleep. Her little baby stays so close, holding on so tight. In the heat of the day and the cool of the night, whether sitting in a tree or scurrying down a track. You'll always see the koala baby clinging to his mother's back. Wake up, Jen! Thank you, Bindi. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, koala. Hey, everyone, we're here with our friend Wags. Let's all say woof to Wags. Woof, Wags! Now, Wags is our pet friend. Now, Steve, you know all about wild animals. Yeah, mate. Now, wild animals take care of themselves, but pets, you have to look after them. What do you have to do with pets, Steve? Mate, pets. Well, the number one thing, the number one thing is love. You've got to love your pet, whether it be a little fish or a cat, a dog, a horse or a cow. It doesn't matter. You've got to give them lots of love. Yes. Yeah. Right? Food. You've got to have good food. Whatever those animals need, that those pets need, you've got to give them good food, a nice house to live in, yeah. lots of cleanliness, and of course, warmth. But love, mate, that's the number one. <laughs> pets, they're great. Woo! A rabbit and a dog, a cockroach and a mouse, a cat and a frog and a ferret and a bird. You might like a pet. It's your animal friend. Take care of them. Washing, playing too. Jeff has a sleepy cat. Jeff likes sleeping just like that. While Anthony likes his dogs to run around. You might like a pet. It's your animal friend. Take care of them. Feeding, washing, playing too. Great to have rabbits in our hat. Helps him with his magic cat Murray's goldfish swims the whole day long. A rabbit and a dog, a goldfish and a mouse, a cat and a frog and a fairy and a bird. Whoa, ho, ho. Hey, Greg, look at my man. It's a cockatoo. Woo, hoo, hoo. Washing plain too. What a friend your pet can be. They'll keep you company. Oh. Pets are special. Meow. Take good care of them. Meow. Hey Wiggles! Hey look everyone, it's the Crocodile Hunter, Steve Irwin. Let's all say g'day to Steve. G'day Steve! Hey everyone! Steve, we've got a problem. We're in the big red car, we were driving along, looking at the birds, looking at the kangaroos, and then all of a sudden we realised, we're lost. What do we do Steve? What do we do? I've got an idea. Why don't you give the big red car a rest, and come on over to my place, Australia Zoo. We've got plenty of snakes to look at, lots of food to eat, a nice spot for you to have a sleep, and guess what? My crocodiles just love a good serenade. <laughs> so come on, let's go over to Australia Zoo. Oh, Woo yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, come for a walk around the Australia Zoo. There's always things to do. There's a crocodile, there's a kangaroo, there's Steve Irwin too. Woo there's always so many things to do. Hey, oh, run, get out of King Kalamazoo. Lots of animal adventures too, at the Australia Zoo. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. Hey, Wagga Gagga, hey, Kalamazoo. The thing goes how the owls will move at the Australia Zoo. Crocodiles and camels, marsupials and mammals. All kinds of mammals at the Australia Zoo. Kangaroos go wireless, the birds are singing la la. The thing goes how the owls will move at the Australia Zoo. The crocodile hunter, he's true blue. Hey, Wagga Gagga, hey, Kalamazoo. There's people playing the didgeridoo at the Australia Zoo. Hey, look at Murray. He's playing his guitar for the crocodiles. Ha, 
<laughs> Aiden Greg's doing magic tricks for the koalas. And Jeff, well, Jeff's asleep. There's always so many things to do. Hey, why you got to hey, out of zoo? Lots of animal adventures too at the Australia Zoo. Lots of animal adventures too at the Australia Zoo. At the Australia Zoo. Miss Lucy had a ducky, she called him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap. He tried to eat the bathtub, but it wouldn't fit down his throat. Miss Lucy called the doctor, Miss Lucy called the nurse. Miss Lucy called the lady with the polka dotted purse. In walked the doctor. In walked the nurse In walked the lady with the polka dotted purse Mumps said the doctor Measles said the nurse Nothing said the lady with the polka dotted purse Out walked the doctor Out walked the nurse Out walked the lady with the polka dotted purse The polka Captain Feathersword. Ahoy there, Captain Feathersword. Ahoy there, Anthony. Captain, that was a fantastic sound you were making. What was that? Oh, that was a kookaburra, Anthony. <laughs> well, a kookaburra sounds great. Captain, can we all do the kookaburra sound? Oh, yes, Anthony, that'd be great. Let's Why do don't it. we all do a kookaburra? <laughs> And she shook her head and she said Mr. Polly put her straight to bed She wrote on a paper for some pills, pills, pills I'll be back in the morning with my bill, bill, bill Alright everyone, it's your turn to sing She looked at 
the dolly and she shook her head and she said Mr Polly put her straight to bed She wrote on a paper for some pills, pills, pills I'll be back in the morning with my bill, bill, bill Oh great singing everyone, Mr Polly's dolly's feeling better already Have a go at this little beauty This of course is a snake and this particular snake is Rosie, the boa constrictor. This is Terry's pet snake. She was raised here at Australia Zoo as our very own pet. Of course, snakes live all over the world. They're very common here in Australia. You can look at snakes, but you shouldn't touch them. And she's a constrictor. You can see how she's wrapped herself around my hand and she's squeezing it. She's not trying to hurt me, she's just hanging on. Isn't she a beauty? Look at her long forked tongue licking my nose. That's her sense of smell. She licks the air, licks my nose, and that takes particles back into her brain, and that tells her what she's, what she's smelling, what she's looking at. See her eyes? She's got gorgeous eyes, and she's got nostrils right on the end of her head. Right here, show us your nostrils, Rosie. There they are there. Hasn't she got a gorgeous coloration? She's a red tail boa constrictor. You can see why. Have a look at the red on that tail. And she's squeezing me. She's a good looking girl, this one. Of course, there's that one golden rule. Look, but you better not touch. Oh, you're a beautiful snake, Rosie. You're a beautiful snake. Snakes, 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 snakes. Greg, let's get out of here. Snakes, fat snakes, thin snakes, 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 snakes. The Lion King. 